Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, another beautiful day here in Central Kentucky. It's going to be hot, 94 degrees. Humidity, like you can believe. Uh, heat index 105. Uh, yeah, not cool. Um, but my brother-in-law, love my brother-in-laws, awesome people. They're up in New England, city folk. And he asked a question. And so we're going to answer it. Hey, Justine and Darren, I'm watching your videos and they're very interesting. Um, I see that you got chickens now and I'm wondering why are you raising chickens? Um, so I'd love to be able to, for you guys to expound upon that. Let me know what's going on. This chicken video is brought to you by Rubterra. As you can see, we've already fed some to the chickens and they are enjoying their delicious black soldier larva, black fly soldier larva. You can order online, go to grubterra.com and put in the code GRUB10 for 10% off your first bag. Jason, to answer your question about why we're raising chickens, um, it broke my heart to have to actually buy chicken eggs. As you can see, this here is a week worth of eggs we get on the farm. So if I make something and I drop an egg, well, <laughs> not only do I have a basket full of eggs, I also had the egg makers 40 feet away and I know what I feed them. So as you can see we have Easter eggers or Americanas and we get light green eggs opposed to the uh, traditional all-white factory. <laughs> I don't know. They're all the same type of chicken I guess. And the difference between the two eggs is uh, we know where these come from. We don't know the maker in the factory for these guys. Um, let's take a look on the inside, put them in a bowl together. Side by side, and put that there before it rolls off the counter. Wow. Now, as you see, it is a pale comparison to what you're going to see from one of our lovely ladies here. And you see the little dark bits in there is uh, chicken. I'm sorry, bro. Like. So not only do you get the egg, you get a little chicken with it. And if we, what do you call it? You put them in the heater thing and they, they egg up. <laughs> they crack. Oh. Hey, my mind does this. I can't remember what it's called. Incubator. An incubator. <laughs> we put the egg in the incubator. You'll get a chicken, obviously. Uh, <laughs> this is life on a farm for me. I forget the name of things, and it's you know the thing in the thing with the thing. You know what I'm talking about. And Darren's like, yes, dear. Yeah, the, the thing. The thing. <laughs> so, Store bought egg. Our chicken egg. Our chicken egg. And zombie-like whiteness, fresh, bright in your face egg. Healthier. Bigger yolk, fertilized, ready to go. Give you that extra burst of protein. <laughs> now, are store-bought eggs fertilized? Some of them are. People have bought eggs online, have gone to the supermarket and gotten eggs and threw them in an incubator, well, placed them gently in the incubator and have gotten chickens. So, you know, you can do that. It does happen. This one here actually looks like it might be fertilized. Uh, so we could have gotten a chicken out of that. Aww. Now, whether it's a bright chicken or a zombie chicken, 
might be a chicken that bumps at the walls. Like, hey, hey, from that movie Moana, Mohana, what? That, that movie with the, you know what I'm talking about. Moana? Yes, that one. I said that. That's what I said. Anyway, so this Jason is why we have our own eggs, own chickens. Because we like healthier eggs. So Jason, another reason why we do chickens here is for bug control, weed control, um, and the geese want to get on the show. Hi geese. Um, these guys will peck around here all day long and they will eat bugs and they will eat grass and they'll find worms and they find all kinds of good things. And this helps us control the weeds and the bugs that are here on the farm. Uh, this area here that has been fenced off, we haven't mowed in, well, since we had chickens a year and a half ago. Look at them working. Look at them working. Look at them working. Now the garden's a mess. But another thing we use them for, as far as weed and bug control, is this fall when all these beautiful tomatoes, look at those things. All harvested and the garden is pretty much done for the year. We will move their fence over to around this area and let the chickens have at it. And they will clean up our raised beds, bringing its edible bugs, any larva from like pests from last year, from this year, uh, squash beetles, vine borers, you name it. They will clean this up for us. And then when they're done, I'll put the chickens back in their normal area and reset these beds for next year. Now here on our farm, we have two different breeds of chickens. We have Easter Eggers, which are these guys, uh, otherwise known as Americanas. There's Chester, who really enjoys attacking me for some reason. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I'm coming through, Chester. Little shit. Thank you. <laughs> and the other breed of chickens we have are currently in lockdown. We're waiting on these guys to get used to this new building I built for them. Chester. I mean, for these guys to get used to this building being their new coop, their new home. And that takes anywhere from three days to five days. Um, and when they're used to this, we will let them out through that side door right there. I still have to build their so ramp. The other breed them. we have are called Rhode Island Reds. Beautiful things. And they're still getting used to stuff. But these guys will get about twice as big as our Americanas or Easter Eggers. And these are a dual purpose breed for eggs and meat. So this is our laying flock. We have two roosters in here, another 14 hens. And when these guys start giving us eggs, which should be here in about another month or so, we will start incubating their eggs. And their chicks, we will raise and grow out in a separate container, separate area. And those we will use for freezer camp. And the reason why we're doing this pretty much is we want to know, we like knowing where our food came from. We like growing our own food. We like knowing what went into our food. So with this, we know that these guys are, are getting the best feed possible, making them the healthiest chicken we can make them. And that way we're eating the healthiest food we can. I see your chickens. I like them. Uh, uh, I want to know what a fresh chicken tastes like. So I'll be down here shortly. I look forward to it. Well, all I got to say about that is you got to come on down. And when these guys are ready, when the next breed of these are ready, probably about spring, we'll have the first batch ready to go to the freezer. You have to come down and you've got to pluck it. <laughs> so Jason, I hope that answered your questions on why we're raising chickens. 
And uh, don't forget, um, make sure you go to grubterra.com, enter, grub, enter code GRUB10 for 10% off your first order. Thanks for watching. God bless. Stay safe and see you next time.